quick message for the quick viewers before you like oh man what is he talking about is he gonna tell me this is he gonna waste my time and you head to the comments tell about i didn't hear it in five minutes so i left if you're just coming in if you want to know what it is i'm gonna tell you i'm gonna explain it all but don't don't if you're in a hurry i don't know what you'd be taking some this or popping that but if you really want to know what it is and you're in the speed mode how about you click like button or save the video and come back when you're about to go to bed. Put it on, okay? I understand a lot of you don't got money like that. And, 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 and um, you trying to, maybe you told the girl to come over to Netflix and chill, but you don't really have Netflix. You can just put me on. I'm better than Netflix, okay? And I'm, and I'm handsome. Yes, I know I'm handsome. Thank you. Thank you, brother. But I'm not handsome enough to take you, girl. Maybe I am, but if you're my fan and you click the like button and subscribe button and you comment for the algorithm, you're my, you're my family. I'm not going to take you, girl. Only the ops and the enemies and the haters, it's halal to take their girl, okay? So if you, you want to pound some teeks, put AK debris on. You can do your thing, and I'm not, you know, I'm good and calming. And I'm going to give you some knowledge, but I'm not boring enough to where you're like, what is this? You might be pounding and get distracted, like, oh, boom, boom. That boy spin facts. Anyway, without further ado, welcome. And hit the like and subscribe. Welcome back, my dear viewer, to another. Welcome back, my dear viewer, to another installment of uh, 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 AK Debris. Again, I am no longer a person. AK Debris is not me, it's all of us, hence the anonymous mask. And in the words of um, PGF Nook, and I don't listen to violent music. But this one is just because of the funny remixes, like the grandma one. Like, uh, look up Aunt Gail. Uh, Aunt Gail. I'd maybe leave a link. I would show it, but I can't risk with copyrights, okay? I never ask you for money, so don't judge me when I avoid it. Last time I showed you imagery of China, I got demonetized. And yeah, so. I learned that lesson a long time ago, but in the words of the uh, 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 of a famous writer of our generation, PGF Nook. Yes, what up? Let's get this B jumping. I ain't talking double dash. No, that's not even. Chirac music. I used to love it. I still like some of it, but again, I'm growing up, music about violence, having went through violence and such. I'm too old to be listening to. Yeah, pull up, put the switch, it's over. To cut that out. Somebody trying to play Megan Thee Stallion? Throw some money on that P, Vanessa Mattis back? No. If I hear the word P, as in kitty cat, he loves this P, spent money on his P, this P got him dreaming, this P got him sleeping. I'm done. Nah. That's neither here nor there. Before I get into it, actually, <laughs> let me recollect my thoughts. And, and, and. Hannah, please welcome our viewers into the house of knowledge, wisdom, evolution. Welcome them in. Follow up. Go with Hannah. She'll take you. You are now watching AK Debris on YouTube. Welcome back to the house of knowledge, wisdom, evolution, and revolution. Make sure to click the like button, smash the subscribe button, and leave a comment for the algorithm. Get comfortable, 
grab a bottle of water, and back to you, AK. This is Hannah, AK Debris, London. Thank you, Hannah, for this wonderful intro. You seen the globe? The globe represents the world, right? So when you see me talking about rap music one day, rappers, next day I'm talking about uh, a cybercrime or hacker, hackers, or, man, listen, I just rant. So if you're here for news, this is not it. You want to go to CNN? You want to go to Fox News? Where they fear monger, fear monger you to oblivion. They will fear monger you to infinity. You will end up feeling scared, but at the same time, you're scared. Oh my gosh. Fox News will scare you from, from, from just my opinion. Not disinformation or misinformation. You see that? I dodge all the... Because I'm, I'm not like these YouTubers. You can't ban, you can't ban the glow man, okay? I'm too smart to get banned. I just, I just express my opinions only. Everything I say here is to be taken for a grain, uh, with a grain of salt. You're supposed to think for yourself. What I say is not facts. A lot of times, I could or might as well. I, I could have been wrong about some things I said. Sometimes I'm not even wrong. I just change my opinion because I'm human. So don't take what I said literally and go worship me like a cult leader. I don't want to be that. I'm just like you. You go to CNN and Fox, you're going to end up scared and living in fear. But again, you don't know what's going on in Sudan. You don't know what's going on in Haiti. I don't. I do videos and post and then people message me like, speak about what's going on here. Speak about what's going on there. I'm like, how come? Why is no one in, in, in the media talking about this? Sudan is where I'm from, so I know firsthand. But it's a lot of things, you know. You know, you. <laughs> this is this is why I was going at the red pill, like it's people living in, in in fear for their life from missiles and stuff, and you got guys on the internet. I'm not trying to dismiss your problems or say they're not justified, but there's bigger fish to fry, in our modern day and time. Okay. Just because we have tech doesn't make life. Oh my God, we have technology. Let's appreciate our tech. But let's, let's also see the dark sides of the tech and, 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 and acknowledge like uh, the pain of you having a girl, not having a girlfriend and tricking off on the, on the sites only, huh? You know what I'm sites. P Hub, Hale. I'm talking about Prayer Hub, ladies and gentlemen. I mean, Alhamdulillah, Rabbil Alameen. All jokes aside, our brothers in China need our prayers. Our brothers and sisters in Iran, the people, not the government. I have, I, I don't get involved in politics. I don't believe. But the, the ones that are persecuted by the morality police, religious police. By the way, if you guys want to, I will tell you, I've had experiences with religious police and, 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 and morality police in Saudi. Just to be um, fair and transparent, they are gone now. They don't exist no more. Thanks to the new king, who is not perfect. But at least they're gone. So shout out to him. But if you guys want to hear my stories from when they used to exist, when I used to live out there, I was, <laughs> I have, it will, it will blow your mind. The, some, a lot of them will get demonetized. 
And if you want to hear about how they used to torture protesters in Sudan using the glass bottle and the broomstick, I'll make a demonetized video if you want to hear. So, you know, comment section is yours. You decide. Dark Web. Today we're going to talk about the dark web. Our story today involves the dark web in China. Now, I'm going to pretend you don't know what the dark web is or how to get on it. Because a lot of you that know me from when I used to do scam rap, I guess a lot of y'all are hip. Um, but I, I guess you guys are hip for the wrong reasons. You probably only use the dark web to buy a, a, a credit card. We don't condone that over here. Or recommend it or encourage it, YouTube. We just speak facts for educational and entertainational entertainment purposes. I might put a disclaimer in the beginning just to be safe because I have haters, but in case you didn't know, let me give you a lesson on how the dark web came to exist. Now, to access the dark web, you would need a tool. I know there's other tools, but the official and main tool, the most secure, safe, known, trusted way that, that, that you know, from the get go was the Onion browser. You download the Onion browser packet and it comes with a browser and a, and a it's like a little VPN and it connects you. The way the connection works it bypasses your, it's like a VPN, but it's way more secure. And the browser, uh, the whole package is just meant for you to browse the internet anonymously. Of course, unless you choose to de-anonymize yourself by visiting the clear net and err. You know, there's plenty of videos online. The fact that there's plenty of videos online is actually relevant because, check this out. Now, let me tell you this point as well. The dark web or the Onion browser, also known as Tor browser, it was a tool built by the government for safe government communication with government people, army, you know, uh, I guess, I don't know, you know, it's, it's confidential government stuff, whether it's spies, all right, lies, you know, in countries like where I grew up, where freedom of speech is not a thing, kind of like uh, social media nowadays. But I digress, my opinion. Like, remember what I said about my auntie? Not gonna keep bringing it up. She was a journalist. Jamal Khashoggi, the journalist who walked in the Saudi embassy and disappeared, that's, that's, that's what happens to people who criticize governments where I'm from. And just the, generally the Middle East and Africa and these not so developed countries. You know, we have dictators and, and such. Sometimes in the West <laughs> as well. But, you know, they be nice about it. You know, they charge you criminally. Like uh, like you're the bad guy. They paint a... Uh, it's not my business. Like uh, Sulyan Jassan. I don't even want to say his full name because you know how they do text-to-speech for subtitles. You guys know who I'm talking about. Kiwi, Kiwi, 
I'm going to say some random words in the between so it doesn't catch it. And keels, kiwi keels. Replace the first and the last. You know the drill. WikiLeaks. Okay. Anyway, we're still blessed. And the West, and, and, and I don't know about the U.S., our crazy neighbors down there. But here, down in Canada, down in the north, don't let what happened with the, with the truckers fool you. To a degree, we have a, 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 a standard of freedom of speech, and people respect it. It seems something is catchy about that Bill C-111, but I got to study it more before I speak. I signed the petition. I'll donate some money, but uh, I'm scared to donate any money somewhere and then being like, freeze his account. Uh, I have a family. I don't want none of that. I just signed a petition. So check this out. The dark web isn't just used by you to buy CCs, my fellow uh, listener of music who allegedly, uh, uh, you know, claim to swipe, Mr. Swiper. The world is bigger than that. In times of revolution and stuff, and, you know, you got people who speak out against governments, you know, they live in a place like China. You know, a descendant of such country. Dissident, not descendant. Descendant means ancestors, like like my sons or daughters. Dissident means someone who, who like Julian, but in a more, you know, uh, let's say you you you're, you're a. But give me a random Chinese name. He was a guy in my college. He's a good dude, Takayuki. Let's say Takayuki been talking a lot of smack. Oh, Xi Jinping, a.k.a. Winnie the Pooh. Winnie the Pooh. He's now an enemy. And uh, they have social credit system over there, so. Which is messed up. I'm going to do a separate video on, they're trying to bring it to the West. Don't let them. But social credit is just like a credit score, for if you're familiar with that the credit card. Except it has nothing to do with borrowing money. It has to do with you following. How much are you willing, how much of a sheep are you willing to be? The more, the better. For example, you criticize government, they take points away. If I if if a Chinese dude do what I'm doing and say, "Hey yo, Winnie the Pooh, man, you tripping, bro? Duh. Minus hundred points, thousand points." Now he can't even travel. He can't ride the bus. He can't. Uh, 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 he's trying to get married. He's trying to go and uh, pipe down. What's her name? Because I don't know girl names. I was thinking of Squid Games, but. Let's not get carried away. This is why I come on here and talk these topics because nobody's going to help out our, our fellow Asian brother. You know, the only thing they'll do is stop the Asian hate. Who hates Asian people? I love them. If a black man, like the one who was on that one video, disrespected the Asian man in front of me, if I was present, I would have walked up. Hey, yo, N, what the F is wrong with you? You B A N? I'm censoring myself, but I would have walked to him straight up. Hey, yo, Negro, F is wrong with you. You better walk, I better keep it pushing. Hey, yo, who, why are you talking to me like that? Are you that rapper YouTuber, huh? Man, if you don't get the, hey, yo, keep pushing, bro. What you gonna do about it, huh? Pull the glizzy, I would have. <laughs> think I'm scared of that glizzy? I'll make you eat it. Get the F on, get the F on. Keep pushing. Hey, yo, you a YouTuber, boy. 
come here, Brian. I would have put him in a headlock. Okay. Because people think I'm soft till they try me in real life. All right. Now, put, whoo. I am not simulating violence. This is only jokes. I love you, Susan. Context of comedy. But I'm just saying, I would have defended the Asian people. Even though a lot of them tend to uh, uh, fear, you know, if I walk in an Asian store, buy or buy. Relax, baby. I'm just trying to give me some guru noodles. You know, random black guy in the store, face that. Oh, like. All jokes aside, our, our brothers are suffering. Our Chinese brothers. So get this. If you live out in the West, you, you know, let's say you go and you try to choke the chicken. You try to beat the, where is it? <laughs> you trying to beat the meat, okay? Trying to visit the hub of knowledge and reproduction. Now, when you go on there, you're probably going to go on, let's say, a, a popular site such as the black and yellow, PH. You just type that in, dot com, and you're in. When I was growing up in these countries where it's like dictatorships and stuff, the internet is censored to a degree that these sites are not allowed to be accessed. You need a VPN to access the hub when I was growing up. This is why I, I was one of the people who was onto that early. God bless his soul. My uncle Adel uh, passed away this year. Actually, he, he was the computer genius of the family. And I remember calling him. I was like, how do you access this site? He put me on. God bless his soul. Anyway. So in China, many sites are bad. One of them being YouTube. I'm not sure about Google. Google had complications. They were trying to uh, work with the CCP. Uh, again, let me pull out some, some of the research and stuff I had and, 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 and just to have it close, okay? And take a leak and what take a walk because sitting down for too long you gotta stretch okay so if i had a sponsorship by the way or a sponsor or ads if you're interested in advertising please leave a comment or reach out on my instagram where i'm verified if I don't respond, get in my comments and tell me to check comments. But tell me the reasons, so. because I get a lot of uh, nonsense, hate comments. So if I did, this little break period would be where I would be like, uh, "Are you tired of playing on a controller that's uh, with a wire?" To thanks to today's sponsor, so. But I would do a good job, not like these YouTubers, monotone. I would actually hype it up and try the product. You got a shirt. I don't get a lot of views now, but I work hard. Soon enough, my new viewers are going to look back. So I'm like Bitcoin when it was cheap, so get in early. Commercial break. Welcome back, brothers and sisters. So, um, and you know, usually I talk a lot of smack about um, white hat hackers. 
I have my opinions on them. I believe a lot of them have a sense of, you know, like a higher morality, like holier than thou. Even though they commit more evil than black hats who usually are, you know, who are smarter, self-taught, and end up being black hats because of the same governments and uh, evil world that the white hats work for. And, you know, they're proud of it. Like, yeah, I'm a white hat. Whole time they doing damage, like cyber war. But anyway, if you heard, you know, if you've been around, you know, your computer dude, you've heard of many antivirus softwares. Uh, one of the greatest goats in that game, shout out to him, is um, Kaspersky. And by the way, shout out to Satanic. Subscribe to him. I wouldn't have never known if it wasn't to him. Great channel. Um, he's not as entertaining and swagged out like me, but he's good. I watch him. So Kaspersky Lab found this up, uh, according to some research paper published by Kaspersky, uh, narrated by Satanic, who's the source for today's video. See, I credit you. I wish people credit me when they steal my ideas, but it is what it is. Uh, let me play this. So, Tor Browser, in order to access Tor Browser, usually the safest way to go about it is to go on uh, the Tor website, which, let me double check here. Tor Browser, no, not OnlyFans. Tor Browser. Okay, which is www.torproject. Www dot org um, is going to direct you let me make sure I'm, let me make sure I'm still recording okay testing great that's the official site to download the real Tor browser and once you download it and connect you know you're on to you're now able to access that onion domains which is pretty much you know dark web or a deep web or whatever you want to call it. The, 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 you know, names don't matter. We both know what we're talking about. Again, you're going to be able to bypass uh, 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 government blacks and such. Obviously, and you know, <laughs> crazy that I got to say this, but you can... With the info I've told you before about um, websites being black, do you think it's allowed in China to go on Tor Project and download it? No. But just because, what's his name? Winnie the uh, Pooh, the ugly man, Winnie the Pooh, if it was heaven and hell, he would be like, <laughs> if it was heaven and hell, God, please. Don't show him no mercy, just like he's shown his people no mercy. Allah hiran, Abu Shakir. I want to get TikTok, but I can't because of his, because of what me and him got go back. We got history. They attack my video. So, you know, obviously, tour um, website or uh, Tor Browser is banned in China, as well as YouTube, as well as many other famous you know, sites we all use, Facebook, Instagram, da, da, da. Now, they have their own Chinese versions. Um, being that they're hosted in China, uh, the Chinese law says that any of these tech companies basically says, listen, when he said, hey, yo, you want to come host uh, your thing here? Cool. But w we must have access to everybody's everything. You know, Big Brother surveillance, da-da-da. 
cool, but why why go ahead and and spend your own government money on surveillance when you can have uh, 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 things like TikTok or or WeChat? Yeah, you know? even though let me tell you something about WeChat. WeChat is not like a Facebook where if you lived in an oppressive country and you're trying to say what you want to say without having having it linked to your name, it's not like that. Okay, WeChat is almost um, you can't really. It's hard to fake your way into WeChat, and it's linked to your real life identity. So if you're on WeChat and you post a meme or you post a Winnie the Pooh picture, which is illegal. Yeah, I know, because they said, oh, what's his name? Xi Jinping looked like Winnie the Pooh. So it's illegal to have even pictures or uh, the movie or anything Winnie the Pooh. This is why I keep calling them that, because... Cause I'm gangster like that, okay? You you trying to hurt the weak people? Listen, I'm I'm out here, bro. Winnie, 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 Winnie the Pooh, the ugly mother effer. I don't care how many bots you attack. Try to nah. You can demonetize my video, but you can attack me all you want to. You can take my life. Doesn't change the fact that you're oppressing your people and, 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 and hurting them. Doesn't change the fact that uh, those, you call them re-education camps, I call them slave camps. Doesn't change the fact that you look like Winnie the Pooh and if it was a heaven and hell, you, you can take my life, you can take my YouTube, but you can't run away from God's wrath. May God's wrath, let me chill out. So what were we saying? So the people, though, the people are human. The beautiful uh, uh, Chinese people, you know, they're human just like me and you. Um, you know, I'm, 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 I'm Canadian. Uh, shout out Justin Trudeau. Personally, I like Trudeau. I think he's not perfect, but I like the dude. They call him racist. I defend him. I think he has an end pass um, that is valid uh, 500 meters anywhere around me. He can say the N word freely because I like the dude. He done more for black and colored people than the people who hate on him. So, but just like a lot of Canadians got a lot to say about Mr. Trudeau. Obviously, a lot of Chinese people will have a lot to say. I mean, bro, like, it's obvious. Like, just because they can't talk about it doesn't make it, oh, yeah, it's amazing. Thank you, Mr. Xi Jinping, the great leader. They know it's BS. But it's just on the low. Just like when I was growing up in Arabia. Everybody know what's up, but... Yeah, like when you talk about it, you just wink and stuff. You can't say straight up. This is why I'm a YouTuber now and I speak up because I can. It was a point in time where I would try to talk to the homie who thinks we, we, bo we both know what's up. But every time we try to <laughs> spark up such conversation, uh, 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 there's an air of uh, aroma of paranoia, like he would be like, hey, yo, bro, stop talking, bro. So I stop it, quick. He'd be winking, like, he'd tell me the um, <laughs> this Arabian uh, uh, proverb. It says, the walls have ears. Like, bro, you know, when you live in such a oppressive uh, country, like, the walls have ears, what does that mean? It's just me and you. We sitting on a black, smoking, uh, 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 hash. <laughs> we doing something which is more punishable, but he, he's not even worried about the hash. He's worried about speaking on the royal, royal uh, the amazing 
royal family. God bless them. That's neither here nor there. My point is, the, t the Chinese people think just like we think. They're just not allowed to talk about it. And Mr. Xi, Mr. Z Xi Jinping, Mr. Jinping is on their A word. Okay, even if they go, even if they leave the country, when you know, like this one case of this Chinese girl who left uh, to the U.S. to study. You know, her American friends got her feeling hyped up. She got around the white folks. They were like, "Girl, girl power! You have you have rights. You can say what you want." She felt, uh, uh, what's the word? Empowered. Okay, but she forgot she got family back there. So she started talking crazy online. Matter of fact, no, no, no. I'm sorry, I'm wrong. Let me make sure I'm recording because this part. Ladies and gentlemen, she didn't even talk crazy. She committed the atrocious, awful crime of, <clears throat> you read it, the horrendous, undefensible crime of what did she do AK what did she do wait she committed the horrible crime of clicking like on a Facebook post that criticized Xi Jinping and the Xi when she went to visit back home they pull up to her house like the SWAT team arrest her what you did was inappropriate. Re-education camp. I'm just painting you a picture before we get into the Tor browser situation. So now that you now that you see what this uh, 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 what it's like being out there. I think you can gather like, yeah, this is why we need Tor browser in places like that, right? For the freedom speakers, activists, journalists, dissidents. It's not all about swiping and <laughs> buying a little collard greens, okay? That's what it was made for. It was made and funded by the U.S. government for such, you know. Now get this. Again, YouTube is banned there. But the, the, the most common form to bypass a, a, a government block would be a VPN. There's a lot of forms of free VPNs. You know, I'm guessing the Chinese government would block them. I don't know if uh, uh, the Chinese population, I'd have to look it up. But I don't know if they carry iPhones and Androids like out in the rest of the world. Because even in other oppressive countries, I've seen Apple and, you know, Samsung, Huawei. And the, the, it's just like everywhere. Because if they have those, then they have access to the App Store or the Google Play Store where they can download uh, a couple. Maybe they're banned. Maybe there's pop-up ones that haven't been, you know, the app just dropped today, so they didn't get to ban it yet, you know? it's The App Store and Play Store is huge. So there's this channel on YouTube. I, I can't read Chinese letters, and I don't have a link to it. And the whole, even the title is like, I have no way to look up how to get there. <clears throat> but I'll post the picture of it. Um, you know, it looks like your average channel for uh, 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 tutorials. Again, I can't read Chinese for the life of me. But from the thumbnails, I can gather it's like um, 
top VPNs. Maybe how to how to download Google Chrome. Uh, I don't know what that is, but class, okay. Okay. The channel is not like one of these pop-up channels. It drops a video, like, let's see here. Two month, one month ago, one month ago. Okay, top VPN, 8K, holla. 8K, man, y'all live in the future. Hey, listen, no disrespect. This is light humor. Again, I love the people. I just can't read the letters, so I'm just trying to paint pictures here. So, Telegram, question mark. They're trying to load up, get active, huh? New. Google Play. So you can think, you know, it's tutorials or little tech stuff. But the one that caught the attention of all of us was the Tor browser one. Again, I repeat, Tor browser and YouTube, where this channel exists, are both uh, 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 banned in China, unaccessible. So. Let's say somebody got their hands on a on one of these VPNs and they're trying to go on the dark web now, you know, it's out in China. They're like, damn bro, like how do I get on um like dude just came up, you know, he he out in China. He ain't trying to lose his credit score, his social credit score. You know? Miss let's let's call him Takayuki. So Taka it's, or Yuki, just chilling out. He's like, man, okay, look, I just got me a VPN, bro. Hey, yo, sh sh don't tell nobody. The walls have ears. Let's go out in the uh, country, huh? And uh, me and you, we just get the VPN. Turn the Wi-Fi off. Turn the Wi-Fi off, okay? Okay, Yuki. <laughs> For example, okay? I right, turned it off. Shh. Don't talk around the phones. I, hey, yo, you want to go out there? Let's go, let's go. Yo, I heard about the dark web from my cousin out in the U.S. He said you can do this and that. Oh, lay, I want to see. Hey, listen, for the Western people, don't sit in here and try to act holy and mighty. I never purchased or done any sort of transaction on the dark web. But curiosity made me visit a lot of markets for research purposes, because I'm working on videos and stuff. A lot of you, maybe if you were around during Silk Road, you probably visited it out of, like when you hear that there's a site like Silk Road, don't tell me you don't want to go explore. So maybe they're just curious. Maybe they don't even want to do nothing. But again, the laws where they are, curious or not curious, make that a punishable crime. Having a VPN <laughs> alone is a crime, let alone Tor browser. So let me put this picture up on the screen here. Uh, these boys, these boys, <laughs> taking risks, trying to live like a, like a Western man. Okay, uh, le, taking penit, what they call what Rallo said, penitentiary chances. God damn, damn Takayuki, you are here wilding, boy. You a G? Which what you uh yakuza? Oh, le. D word before dishonor. Where's the gong? Don't ever say that's racist. They love it. I do these jokes around my Chinese friends. 
friend. They love me. Only people that you, because you be hating, looking for a reason to. Nah. I'm respected worldwide. That's why there's a globe in my, in my, and I'm here speaking for him, so. I'm just trying to make him laugh so it's not all sad. I don't want it to be sad like the other video. So look here. Check this up. When you look up how to download Tor in Chinese, this is not like some third, fourth option. You know, this is like the first one that pops up. And what's scary about it is, check it out. Let's say you're a Chinese dude, right? You don't. You stumbled upon this video after getting your VPN, and you know, boom, you you come across this video, how to get on tour. Bada boom, boom, bam. Click the link down there. It's a Chinese hosting site, or I'm not sure, but it sounds Chinese. Lanzu.com. And you download the version of Tor, but what you don't know is this isn't the same Tor that you gonna get from if you was to get it from the official site. This is an affected version of Tor. Um, again, they could have got it via GitHub, but I don't think they had the know-how. I mean, if they were looking up how to get Tor on YouTube in Chinese, come on. What do you mean it's infected? What do you mean it's a fake Tor browser? Check it out. So, the normal Tor is um, supposed to be private. It doesn't store your browsing history. It doesn't, you know, caching has... um. JavaScript and all that disabled, so you know no one can use these plugins or one of these websites use these plugins to determine your location or de-anonymize you. But this version of Tor, <laughs> complete opposite. It actually stores your history, enables caching caching of pages on disk. Enables automatic filling, huh? Le. Memorizes login data. And guess what? Sends, uh, stores extra session, uh, stores extra ses session data for websites. So it's like you shot yourself in the foot if you were trying to browse using this tour. So get this, on top of all that, this thing comes with an extra malware Downloads in the background. All this data that they stored is sent to a hacker's uh, command and control server. So you shot yourself in the foot. Plus all this dark web tour browser browsing you've done is sent to some command and control server. And it's also programmed to grab your WeChat and your Baidu. So it's like a, it's like a honeypot version almost of a, of a Tor browser. And when you search it up on YouTube, this is like the first option that comes up. Satanic said something very, 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 very important. He said, times like this, a dislike button or a dislike meter on YouTube huh. not only would have been useful, it could have saved somebody's life. Even though I got plenty bones to pick with Mr. Winnie Xi Jinping, Winnie the Pooh, I don't know if this is him. I don't know if this is a... a, a, a a trap set by the Chinese government. I don't have enough data to say so. But again, the channel is Chinese. Posting stuff in Chinese, pretty much directed at Chinese uh, audience. But YouTube 
is bad, it's uh, This is one of the three, or let's say two. This could be government setting a trap to catch the citizens and then take away their social credit, lock them up, send them to a re-education camp. Or, uh, or this could be a heartless, ruthless, Parasitic, kind of smart, but still, individual who's storing this info either to hack them for his own, you know, hack their WeChat pay. Okay, I don't know how it works in China. They don't even tell you. I try to sign up to WeChat, but if you don't have a Chinese number, can't get in. So he could be using this info to blackmail our fellow Chinese brothers. It's not like in China, there's a dark website where you can uh, buy uh, a brick. This ain't that. They're pretty much either going on for curiosity or maybe they want to speak how they really feel. So then the hacker says, come here. Oh, that's how you feel? Pay me this much or I leak. It's it's a lose lose situation. Sad any way you look at it. And I, my heart goes out to the Chinese folks. YouTube community guidelines says content enabling dis dishonest behavior. Now. <clears throat> I'm not going to say what I think about piracy. That's a topic for another day. What I think about piracy is irrelevant. But even on Pirate Bay, there was a, a, a virus checker. This guy is running loose on YouTube. Number one surf re result. <clears throat> Take him down. It's simple. I hope it's been been taken down because, uh, I mean, Satanic reported on this on the 7th. But the reason I document this, I'm tired, I'm about to go, is just to tell you, think, a lot of y'all never think. YouTube, how to do this. Oh, you want to? I got you. Like some of y'all idiots, bro. <laughs> How to hack a Facebook account back in the day, early 2000s. And then they'd be like, oh yeah, a video right here. Oh, you wanna learn? We got this program. And it shows you a video of him just putting in an account and boom, password. You dummy, download it and you got the malware. Now you're the victim. Y'all don't think. I just feel bad for the Chinese folks because not only they got to worry about Mr. Winnie, but now they got to worry about some bozo trying to extort them. Or it could be Xi Jinping himself. This wouldn't happen if Winnie wasn't in power. I hope God intervenes and strikes him down with something. Because... My heart goes out to y'all. Hit the like button. Smash subscribe button. Stay woke. There's only two places to get the real tour. And I don't go on a dark web, but a lot of y'all need to. Dissidents and stuff. Not for illegal activity. Okay. Tour project. The website I said earlier. The official tour site. If it's banned where you live, GitHub should be open. Worldwide, go to GitHub and search Tor browser. Okay, I'll try to provide links, but I don't like providing links because I mean this guy got away with it because he was typing Chinese. YouTube channel. I hope this. T 
Listen, y'all took down Sneeko and Andrew Tate, but this dude running loose? Hell nah. He's trapping hundreds of thousands of people, either being blackmailed or it's like <laughs> they're in a re-education camp right now. Good job, YouTube. Clap for them. But Sneeko and now, I mean, I don't even like Sneeko all that, but it's just principle. I'll see you guys in the next video. Hit like, smash subscribe. Peace out. Watch the last videos. I've been going in. New video tomorrow or after. Crazy world, huh?